Okay, good morning. Day four of our 28 days of Shaba. Woo, that's the Holy Ghost of God right there. Huh. Hitting the table. I'm getting touched by Jesus. That's good. Shaba. All right. <clears throat> Woo. Day four. Wow. Day four of our 28 days Woo. of seeing Jesus. Wow. And uh, in, in verse 19, whew. verse 19, Jesus says, the word of God says, he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. You see, wow. I'm having an encounter with God right now. And, and I think this is a prophetic sign. There is a manifestation of the encounter that you have with God. And that manifestation is you have to share what you have received. We can complain that we don't have enough or we can give away what we have and start trusting God for the more. Jesus was so compelled by love that he gave away everything he had. Gave away his provision, gave away his relationship with the Father, gave away his life. We need to give away what we have with others. You don't need to get anybody saved. Only Jesus can save. But we do need to give away our revelation. We do need to give away our relationship. We do need to give away the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We do need to get out of our little inward focused bubble and allow the manifestation of God that's on our lives get on another life. We have to let compassion rise up and we have to touch somebody around us. Jesus said, <clears throat> I will make you fishers of men. We need to cooperate. Let's look for Jesus today. Who is it that he is fishing for? Who is the Holy Spirit drawing in our lives? Who do we need to maybe call up today and invite to church? Who do we need to call today and make amends? Who do we need to send a message to on Facebook or Instagram and say, hey, haven't talked to you in a while, man. Is everything okay? Praying for you. I love you. Being fishers of men is at the heart of the mission of Jesus. And if we're going to see Jesus clearly, we have to get involved in his mission today. So look for those that he's drawing. And we'll begin to see Jesus more clearly. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.